on the road, in the air, on the water. Buckle up. Always wear a life jacket. Hey guys, we're here with Tristan from Cocapelli. He's going to walk us through this Nirvana self-bailing pack raft. It's got a lot of really cool capabilities that he just showed me and I want him to take you guys through it. So what do we got here? So this is our Nirvana self-bailer. Uh, it's a pack raft and so the main thing about pack rafts is they're small, light and compact. So they'll roll up super small so that you can take them pretty much anywhere. So opens up a lot of new windows of uh, doing like uh, source of sea trips where you're heading up to the headwaters or if you're just short on space and you know have a Honda Civic and you just want something really small to throw in the trunk of your car yeah. or always keeping your roof box for um, trips and stuff like that it's just ready to go cool. all the time. Does it take long to pump up? Uh, so this comes with an inflation bag it takes about five minutes from the inflation bag we also have a little battery powered pump that will uh, inflate it up in about a minute Okay. and then What's great is you don't need a pump to pump this up. You can just blow straight into the valve to get it to be about 1.5 PSI. Amazing. So super lightweight, uh, minimal gear, and easy to, to set up. Cool. Does it come with these storage bags or are these add-ons? So this is our deck pack. It's an extra uh, 100 bucks for this one. Okay. It's got a fully waterproof airtight zipper. Cool. Um, so I think it's like IPX67, um, whereas like you know, most roll top dry bags are kind of like more splash bags. This thing's fully, uh, fully waterproof. So I, when I paddle, I keep all my stuff in there. Uh, and then also we don't have it on this boat, but most of our pack rafts have the option to add a, a zipper on the back right hand side. So it's okay. called the tie zip zipper. It's about 20 inches long and you can unzip it and then store all of your gear inside the boat. So if you're going cool. on, um, you know, a multi-day trip like Snake River uh, through Hell's Canyon or the Salmon or any like yeah. shoots Rogue or anything like that, yeah, you can unzip this, fill uh, the side tubes with your all your gear, and then zip it shut, and then inflate it, and then it keeps all of your gear nice and tight and confined and dry in there. Also Incredible. lowers your center of gravity, so it makes the boat a little bit more stable. Amazing. Yeah. That's a great idea. And I feel like there's so many more people on the river now that there are pack rafts. Like, I used to teach whitewater kayaking, and there were so many people that would be like, I would never do that. But I feel like a pack raft, you can get it out onto whatever grade whitewater. What's this one good for? This one's uh, rated up to class three, and okay. then we also have uh, a new one launching soon that's uh, rated up to class four. <laughs> really? What's that going to be called? Uh, March 15th, we have the Rodeo Pack Rafts coming out. Okay. Uh, I can't say too much more about it, but um, it's uh, it's going to be super fun. It's going to paddle a lot more like a traditional hard shell kayak. Amazing. Yeah. That's so, so exciting. We're super excited to get that out soon. Yeah. So more people on the water in yeah, pack so, rafts. So with that, um, what's great about pack rafting is it really kind of drops the... some. Uh, uh, about, what is it? Entry boundaries, what's the term? Like, um... Barriers of entry. Oh yeah, yeah. yep. Yeah, so it makes it a lot easier for more people to get out in the water because compared to a normal high, hard shell kayak, you have to learn how to roll, you have a uh, spray skirt and everything like that, so it can just feel a lot more overwhelming and claustrophobic. Right. With this, if you flip, really easy to flip it back over and just climb back in and start paddling again. So it's really great for people who are learning to, um, you know, learn to read whitewater and stuff like that. Yeah. Also just great for advanced people too. A lot of uh, people who prefer like a hard shell kayak love these in the summer because they can just stretch out and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> or just get it as a fr as one to take friends out and stuff like that. And introduce them and to the sport. Them to the sport. Amazing. Exactly. Amazing. That's so great. Well, thanks so much for walking us through it. And I'm looking forward to seeing the new one. Yeah, the new one. We're super excited. March 15th. March 15th. Yep. Okay. Thank thanks you. Bye guys. Yeah.